Hello, and welcome to this video for Windows users who want to use Ubuntu, which is a Linux operating system similar to Windows. Okay, has lots of benefits. The primary benefit, it's a free operating system, and it comes with lots of free programs, and literally you can run Windows programs within it. You can download lots and lots of free apps, programs, etc., all of that. It's quite useful. Also, if you want to repair your Windows computer from outside of Windows, you can use Ubuntu to do that as well. Okay, so this video follows on from our last video where we basically created a USB boot drive. Okay, boot disk, you could call it. And now we're going to show you how to actually boot up into that. First thing is go to update, click recovery, and all we're doing is advanced startup. Once that starts up, you click user device. And the reason why we actually did that is because rather than asking you to mess around with a harder way to get to your USB device and start up with that, you'll see over here it says the EFI USB device. Okay, we have other EFIs, etc. That's because we're using a virtual machine, so we get a few more. Don't worry about it. Basically, it should be your thumb drive that you're looking for. And we're going to click on that. It boots up into that. Once it boots up, basically, you'll get this initial menu. You can try it. It'll basically just run Ubuntu, and you can get a feel for it without any changes on your computer. Just click the first option, which is there, try Ubuntu without installing. And we're going to install it. So click on that. Okay. You might be wondering why we're getting little black sides on the side. Okay. The reason why is because we're using a virtual machine to install it. When you're installing it on your real PC, it will actually show full screen. Okay. Now, it has the language that you'd choose. For example, English. And then you can click on download updates whilst installing Ubuntu. And this is quite nice. Click on that. Okay, basically, do the licensing requirements, you just need to tick on it. No payment, no nothing whatsoever. But this allows you to watch videos and listen to certain kinds of audios, etc. That's all. Just for licensing for Ubuntu. Nothing special. And continue. Okay. Now. We're doing it the simplest way possible, which is basically install Ubuntu along with Windows. So basically both of your operating systems, Windows as well as Ubuntu, will be running on your same computer. No special disk partitioning and all those things. That is why many people are scared of Ubuntu. Okay, it's a straightforward install. Okay, uh, as a Windows user, you probably wouldn't want to click this, but that will basically wipe your entire computer and then install only Ubuntu. Okay, if we had created separate disk partitions and all that the advanced thing, you could have done this, but we're keeping it simple. This is for Windows users, so that's why. And as you'll see, our virtual machine had 60 gigs. Okay, it's going to take up 22 of that for Ubuntu. We could modify this in that something else. I could have changed it, but 22 is fair enough, okay? Ubuntu can literally run on about 5 gig if you really want to push it, or even less, possibly. Um, there we go. Or, from the raw DVD, it's running on 1.5 gig. So, just click yes. We're happy with how it's automatically chosen it. Okay, it just gives you a little notice saying, you sure you want to do this? Yep. Another warning. And then where are you? You can choose the country, time zone, etc. And then choose the keyboard you're using. Okay, let's find our keyboard. There we go. For our US keyboard that we're using. Click continue. Okay, and we've given ourselves a name. So username Windows Ninja. There we go. Create a password. Once that's done, you can also encrypt your data folder if you want to. That's a perfectly good idea. So all your data is encrypted. You can tick that. If you don't want to encrypt your data, you can just untick it. That's fine. No problem. 
and then it will copy files, download files, and install it. And we'll come back to you once it's finished. So here it is after entering the password and clicking on the button. We are now into Ubuntu. All we did was basically, this looks nice, isn't it? It's almost like Windows. And all we did was change the background and bring the toolbar from this side downwards. And that's quite simple. If you want to change, just like Windows, you have settings, you have appearance, and then choose a background. If you don't like the mountain, you can choose this. And it's literally within seconds. It's a very fast system. You can obviously download your own pictures, etc., to create backgrounds, themes, all those things. Okay? So we just bring it back to what we liked. We like the mountains. Okay, and then if you do need to bring this one, this little taskbar, shall we call it, then Windows, when you set up with Ubuntu, it comes out on this side, which also puts off a few Windows users. Nothing major. All you need to do is click on the first button, like the Start button. Click on Term, Man, no. You don't really need to go that far, it'll find it before. It's very, very efficient. And then all we did was run this little command, and I brought it down to the bottom. This one command should be there in the description of the video. All you need to do is just copy and paste it, and run it. So there you go. You have now a Windows system with a Ubuntu system running side by side. You also have the system giving you a free, almost similar to Microsoft Office. Okay, you have, there you go. You've got what you might call Word. And you can save things as a Word document. Okay. You can save them as a Microsoft Word document. No problem whatsoever. All goody goody. The only thing is the cancel button is on this side, like a Mac. Okay. Cancelled over there. So that's Word. You have Excel, you have a version of kind of like PowerPoint, all other Office software literally available out of the box, completely free, and with a store that gives you all the options. If you need to look into your Windows partition, they should see. As we said before, we had a 64 gig, very small number allo allocated to this um, virtual machine, but for the purposes of the demo, perfectly fine. And there you go. You can access your Windows folders as well. If you have documents, if you have certain issues where you need to delete files that were not able to be deleted within Windows, you can do it outside of Windows now. You have full control of your system. So you have access to your Windows folder. You have literally two operating systems running on the same computer if you want to choose one or the other go for it you know I think this is a positive video and I hope you like it if you do like this video give us a like give us a subscribe thank you very much for watching and have a lovely day thank you